Welcome, welcome back to endocrine system video series and this video is about pineal gland or pineal gland and its endocrine secretion melatonin. Because melatonin has a role in synchronizing the circadian rhythm, we will talk about those aspects of circadian rhythm related to the melatonin and pineal gland. And also we will see the functions of melatonin which is secreted from areas other than the pineal gland. Pineal gland is also known by some other names like pineal body or conorium or epiphysis cerebra etc. Other than these medical names, another most famous name is third eye. So this is because pineal gland is ascribed to some enigmatic or metaphysical myths, something like seat of the soul etc. by some philosophers. So for us only physiology we deal with and this organ as a endocrine organ. And it is this area, this blue colored area is what we are talking about in this video. The word pinea means pine, pine cone like and this gland is a small cone like structure and this has a length below 10 millimeters somewhere around 0.8 centimeter and a reddish gray colored one and with a weight of 0.1 grams and this has a stalk called as pineal stalk. Now coming to the location of this pineal gland. Pineal gland is a part of diencephalon of the brain. Diencephalon is the interior part of the brain. So it's below the cortex and above the midbrain of the brain stem. So it will be somewhere around here, this area, the most central regions of the brain. And diencephalon includes the thalamus, this yellow round like area and there is two thalami, one thalami over here also, the right and left. And the hypothalamus, this blue one, the anterior one and the subthalamus, this not in this picture this here in the some area here near to the midbrain and epithalamus this one is the epithalamus this blue one on the posterior side so it's this part we are talking about in this video and this area is superior and superior to the superior colliculi of the midbrain so this green one is the superior colliculi this is the inferior colliculi of the midbrain so superior to superior colliculi and posterior to the thalamus so pineal gland is posterior side of the brain and also in between the two central hemispheres. Next thing to see about pineal gland is the cells of the pineal gland. Historically this has special cells called as pineulocytes and these are atrophied photoreceptor like cells. These are large epithelial cells that are the main parenchymal cells of the gland. Then gland also has other cells, neuroglial cells which are supportive cells, interstitial cells, the perivascular phagocytic cells, pineal neurons, peptidergic neurons like cells. So these are other cells of the gland. As age progresses or with increasing age, these glands get calcified. So calcium crystals are deposited in these glands and these calcium crystals are usually called as brain sand. And now let's see the nerve supply of this pineal gland which we are interested is the sympathetic connection. The superior cervical ganglion connects to the pineal gland to release noradrenaline at the nerve endings and this promotes the synthesis of melatonin. And another connection is parasympathetic connection that's from the otic ganglion. So this is about the the pineal gland. Now what we need to see is the synthesis and regulation and function of this secretion from the pineal gland that is melatonin. The hormone melatonin is synthesized in the pinealocytes which are the 95% of the cells of the pineal gland and these are highly modified neurons and are arranged as codes and clusters. So usually they have a polyhedral body with 4 to 6 processes. This is an example with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 processes and the secretions from this pineal gland can pinealocytes can move into the third ventricle or to the blood vessels through this connection. So these are connected to blood vessels and third ventricle. This atrophic photoreceptor like cells produces the hormone melatonin from tryptophan, amino acid tryptophan and melatonin is chemically 5 methoxy acetyl tryptamine. So tryptophan here first is converted into 5 hydroxy tryptophan by hydroxylases and then it is converted to 5 hydroxy tryptamine by decarboxylase. Then this 5 hydroxy tryptamine or 5 HT is converted to melatonin first acetylation and then methylation. So this in this of melatonin is increased or decreased by the effect of light and this message is converted to other cells of our body through the melatonin. So for this let's see the functions of melatonin now. First of all let's discuss the functions of melatonin in relation to the pineal gland and we'll see the secretion stimulating and inhibiting or controlling pathway. The melatonin from the pineal gland is attributed to two functions. The first one is the most important while the second function is mostly important in mammals other than in humans. 
The first function of melatonin is maintaining and coordinating the circadian rhythm. I use the word maintenance and coordination, not the word generation or synthesis of circadian rhythm. So this is done by the central biological clock in our body that is suprachiasmatic nuclei of the hypothalamus. So that is SCN and pineal gland and melatonin only coordinates with other cells of our body and maintaining the circadian rhythm with other hormones like glucose. So melatonin is synthesized during darkness while its synthesis is inhibited during daylight and we will see how it happens after a while. The second function of melatonin is in reproduction. Reproduction related to seasonal fertility in animals. This is important in mammals, certain mammals but not in humans the role is not well established and it is not relevant also because we don't have this seasonal fertility but it has got some role which we will see later. Both these functions are not opposite or this functions are related all not separate during long dark periods of season more melatonin will be produced so this produces less reproduction and more light conditions summer etc less melatonin and so reproduction will be more so that's the logic now come the first role of melatonin the first role is in circadian rhythm or sleep wake cycle maintenance and coordination so let's start from the eye because this is the most light sensitive area of our body and in the retinal layer of our eye other than these roads and these cones there are cells which are sensitive to light and this is a cone cell and this is a road cell and these road cells are for scotopic vision and these are cones are for photopic or color vision and usually these roads and cones cells get hyperpolarized or repolarized when light falls we saw in the physiology of vision we do. but these cells these yellow colored cells here is the photoreceptive ganglion cell so these are also photosensitive cells and these are not for vision and these cells are also called as intrinsically photosensitive retinal cells. The photopigment inside these cells, these photoreceptive ganglion cells are called as melanops. It's not a rhodopsin we saw in the roads and this melanopsin can absorb light and can cause depolarization and this depolarization causes action potential which will move through the op nerve. The nerve from the eye that is the optic nerve now reaches the optic chiasm and from this optic chiasm this goes into the nucleus of this hypothalamus and this nucleus an important nucleus is called as the suprachiasmatic nucleus. So there is two suprachiasmatic one on the left side and one on the right side and this tract to the SCN is called as retinohypothalamic tract. So this is a retinohypothalamic and this SCN suprachiasmatic nucleus is the biological clock in our body the central biological clock and now from the SCN now information will go to different areas to affect this biological clock function and out of this one important pathway is the pineal gland and melatonin before moving into the pineal gland melatonin pathway let's see what happens in suprachiasmatic nucleus SCN okay the molecular mechanisms I will explain in very few sentences the neurotransmitters which are released in the SCN from the optic nerve are one is glutamate and second one is P CAP or pituitary adrenal cyclase activated protein and this neurotransmitter release can increase some important protein inside this SCN cell and one is the protein called as period proteins and second one is cryptochrome proteins like the timeless protein in the drosophila and this per and cryptochrome protein additionally there are two other proteins like NPAS2 and BMAL1 proteins are also expressed and these proteins are the molecules which produce the biology clock activation so these all these proteins are transcription factors and these act at the DNA to produce certain other protein so these proteins will act now in the suprachiasmatic nuclei by the action of these proteins on SCN cells the period protein cryptochrome protein and pass protein BML protein the SCN cell express certain proteins and it activates or deactivates certain other nucleus in the hypothalamus so one important protein expressed is big conductance calcium activated potassium channel. So the function of this channel is to pump out potassium from the cell. So positive charge is now going out from the cell in the night. So the cells now will become deactivated or they decrease their activity. Another action is by acting on the HN nucleus of the hypothalamus to increase and decrease the body temperature. 
and the third action on scn is on the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus to increase and decrease the release of crh corticotrophic releasing hormone from the hypothalamus and this in turn activates or deactivates the pituitary cells to release acth and this acth now can increase the release of cortisol from adrenal cortex and the second action is activation of pineal gland and melatonin from the paraventricular nucleus the scn activated paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus can activate or inactivate the superior cervical ganglia by indirect route indirect ways so from here the sympathetic nerves arises which releases noradrenaline to the pineal gland so if noradrenaline adrenaline is released the production of secretion of melatonin will be in so in day day time this causes inhibition of noradrenaline release and thereby no production of melatonin so here in day time all these pathways are inhibited and there is no production of melatonin so during the night the inhibition for the release of noradrenaline is removed by this activation of all these pathways so finally melatonin is released from the pineal gland and this acts through the melatonocortin receptors mc receptors and produces its effect so at night melatonin is released and during day there is no melatonin release so from the eye impulses are received at the suprachiasmatic nucleus which in turn increases or decreases the production of melatonin from the pineal gland so the biological clock set up by the suprachiasmatic nucleus is conveyed through the melatonin which is released from the pineal gland so this maintain the circadian rhythm so this why this gland is called as the third eye their ability to respond to changes in the intensity and amount of light now let's see the second function related to reproduction and melatonin can activate the gonadotropin inhibitory hormone gnih which is secreted from the dorsomedial nucleus of the hypothalamus so this is the hypothalamus and this is the anterior pituitary so activation of gnih can cause inhibition of gonadotropes of the anterior pituitary so they are not going to release the hormones fsh and ls the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone is now reduced so reduction of this can inhibit the ovaries and testes to produce their sex hormone so activation of melatonin can cause the reduction of sex hormones in male and female of the mammals so how much this is important in humans that is has to be evaluated then in human the onset of puberty may be delayed by this gonadotropin inhibitory action then in other species the effect is different and it is prominent also so in some species this can increase the fertility in some species it can inhibit the fertility so depends its species specific action melatonin is also secreted from other areas like skin wbc cells and git etc in skin the melatonin protects us from the harmful uv rays of the sunlight uv beta rays are inhibited so dark skin the equatorial places are not damaged because of the increased presence of melatonin in the skin then melatonin released from the wbc and the leukocytes has a role in immunity then inhibition of insulin release is another function of melatonin then melatonin has antioxidant roles then anti aging roles also then it's also attributed to the mental health the sense of direction spatial navigation etc so a wide variety of functions are also attributed to melatonin there are many melatonin like drugs are available melatonin related drugs are available melatonin itself used in jet lag then alpha msh analog alpha melanotide is in erythropoietic beta protoporphyria it is used then brimelanotide which is a melanocortin 3 4 agonist acting on the receptors used in fsad like conditions so there are many drugs are also there in this pathway so that's all about pineal gland melatonin and their actions in circadian rhythm thank you thank you for watching